Games Journalist has to be one of the most, if not the most, embarrassing job titles you can hold these days. If you're a games journalist, it basically means that you hate gaming, you hate gamers, and you're only there to paint the world in Marxist rainbow pride colors. IGN and Kotaku are not the only outlets that are guilty of all this trash, though, because, oh look, we forgot about GameSpot, who've been more or less irrelevant since Gamergate 1, but now, of course, one of their editors has come out, emerged on X, looking around for some clout, and, and instead has been destroyed, of course, because she's done what all the sex-obsessed activist trash humans always do, called a bunch of people who disagree with her incels. Despite the obvious fact that people who are not obsessed with sex like the activist trash are, are probably not that much worried about how much of it they're getting. Hello, welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name is Will, see what I did there. Hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. We're going to get into all of the fuss around GameSpot editor Jessica Cogswell, who has attacked gamers yet again, calling us all incels. And I'm sorry, but... If sex has that much power over you that you think it's a, a, a volatile and potent weapon to use against other people, you're just telling people that it has power over you. Usually the sorts of people who are obsessed with something like that are the people who don't get any. Most of us, on the other hand, are like, yeah, I'd really like to be playing some games right now, but I've got a lot to work to do, and I've also got to spend time with the missus. So, really, who are the people who are really the incels here? Well, that's what I think anyway, but we're going to get into it. So if you're liking the video, then like the video and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to support me and make sure you don't miss out on any more news, reviews, commentary and dusting it off again, SJW Bingo, because once wasn't enough. And this woman, as we will go on to see, is so much of an SJW that I think she can fill the whole damn card. Here we are first then at that park place looking for evidence. GameSpot editor Jessica Cogswell attacks gamers as incel gamer dudes previously shared animus against white people. White people! So straight away we get the implication that she is obsessed with race. We will probably be uh, ticking that off on our bingo card a little later on. And by the way, this is your official Gamergate 2.0 SJW activist bingo card, which I've posted on X. If you'd like to get hold of it yourself and play along with me, you feel free to see just how much you can get when you encounter activist trash on the internet. But anyway, we'll be coming back to this card periodically through the video and filling it up as we discover more and more about Ms. Cogswell. But for the meantime, enjoy the few seconds that you've got something pretty to look at on the screen in Eve from Stellar Blade. And if that makes me an incel, well, I mean, it just doesn't. So it doesn't matter. At the end of March, Cogswell wrote on X, Man, I don't know how all these incel gamer dudes are expecting gamers, games rather, to have hot characters and characters representative of them at the same time. Right. Listen, lady, we've never asked for representation. I'm quite happy to be a Greek god or an ancient Viking or a ninja turtle or a space marine or any of those things without ever having experienced a single second of being any one of them. It's like that meme where you see all the black and Latin women looking at a picture of a fat, black, race-swapped April O'Neil and going, now I finally feel represented. Meanwhile, multicolored, all-racial giga-chads are staring at Raphael, the ninja turtle, and saying, yes, that is literally me. We don't care about this stuff, but of course she has to reply to that claim as well when we say, when did we ever say we wanted representation? Because we haven't. She says, every other thinking time your collective treat tweets about how woke characters and women are in every role, you miss cis hit white men being allowed in things. No. No, it's not that. You see, you fundamentally missed the point whilst claiming that you know more than other people. And I'm sorry, but that's grounds to dust off the bingo card because straight out of the gate here, this mad, mad woman has claimed that she knows more than you. Maybe she hasn't claimed it outright, but she's certainly acting like an arrogant POS on Twitter. And that's good enough for me. Bang! We can also tag off here, use his sex as a weapon because... If you call someone an incel, that's what you're doing, which automatically chain reacts and allows us to also tag obsessed with sex. That much is clear. But is she obsessed with race? Well, we will find out. But I guess for now, we can also tag off 
attacking her own customers. Boom, we've got that one as well. Oh, and while we're at it, works in news media is one as well. We can get that. Let's get on that. And whoop, not that one. We can have uh, this one. There we go. Works in news media. We've got obsessed with sex, uses sex as a weapon, knows more than you, supposedly, and attacks own customers. All right, that's cool. Uh, then we can get back to where we were then. So back to that park place where we can see uh, some of these tweets that she's put out. But there is more because in 2023, she claimed she was going to stop using the term JRPG because apparently games should be separated by content, not the race of the people creating them. Wow, you almost went civil rights there, which would be a real turn up for the books coming from a neo-Marxist trash bag idiot like, uh, like Jessica uh, Cogswell here. Because, of course, all these people are constantly telling you that being white is bad, being black is great, blah, blah, blah. But now you're saying that games should be judged on the content of their <laughs> of themselves rather than the color of the skin of the creators. Well, what about we do that with people instead, Jessica? But then, unfortunately, you wouldn't be able to get your diversity quotas, would you? She also comes out here and says, I think if you're white, please consider thinking before tweeting. Actually, I don't know that that's racist because then promptly delete that tweet and listens to the people, your opinions of people you're putting in a box. She furthermore mentions uh, very old problematic white women um, and people apparently getting M'd. I don't think that's what happened. Oh, she's using POC and trans terminology. Wow, we've got a bunch more stuff for the card right now. What have we got? We can see obsessed with race. That much has been absolutely clarified for us. Bang, we got that one. What else? Uh, we can safely say she has very little interest in her job because all she seems to talk about is politics and social justice. So that's there too. Very, very good. What else we got? Uh, PC language. Definitely that's one of them because she is uh, talking about POCs and trans people there. Uh, what else do we have? It's the phobic insert. Not quite. No, no, no. I think that's it for now. Back to that park place. All right then. We can continue down the Jessica Cogswell rabbit hole. Again, bad phrasing. Uh, she's talking about the racial makeup of Xbox's leadership team back in 2022. And don't even get me started on Xbox in 2024. Uh, she's complaining that uh, out of 13 people, 10 of them are white. Um, well, I don't know. That guy doesn't look particularly white to me. Uh, that's a black person that's a black person i guess yeah the rest of them are white or white adjacent you might say if you're a race obsessed freak um okay yeah this is pretty bad uh so she's complaining about race again we've already tagged that on the card though so we can't really go back now let's keep looking what else we got oh she doesn't like white men or straight men that's that's not good we're very close to getting some istophobic insults i think let's keep going uh conversations with friends vented 1000 percent a thing that exists what 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 is a thousand percent a thing that exists blah 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 social media cishet white men again with that terminology yeah she's just she's full of crap isn't she she's just full of crap what was that? Mental health, careers protected, internet etiquette. Oh, black peers. Oh, there we go again. There we go again. More of this absolute rubbish. Marginalized groups. Oh, super toxic. Toxic white people. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Still haven't got anything for more for the card, though. White people, please do not just be effing tweeting today. She's a white person. It's always white liberal Karens who don't realize that their entire liberal attitude has been hijacked by Marxism, basically holding a gun to their head and saying, you will separate everybody by race, gender, or identity. Otherwise, all of the other central tenets of your liberalism and the goodness and virtue that you feel from it will collapse under its own arrogance. So that's why they must adhere to all this trash, uh, because they really can't stand to not be seen as the good guys. Even as they go ahead and say things like racist, trans, fabric, massage, and as bad as shaming. Ooh, there's a bunch there for the cards. What we got? We've got uh, racist, transphobic, misogynistic, right? That's istophobic insults. Where's that? We can see it. There we go. Perfect, beautiful. Uh, what else do we see? Uh, 
no, that's that's it right now. Okay, well, fair enough. But oh wait, hang on a moment. What is that on her Twitter? Her her Twitter handle. Let's go to her account quickly. Whoa. Okay. Okay. So straight out of the gate, we've got a cutesy. Oh, God. Why do they always have to have Pokemon references in their nicknames? These freaks. And just like giant children, aren't they? A wild Jessichu. That that is going straight on the card. That is going straight on the card. Has a cutesy screen name. Where is that? Boom, we've got it. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, what else can we see? We've got... Uh, wait a minute, did I see that properly? Claims depression. Yes, we can see that she is in fact claiming depression on her account. I'm so depressed. I'm so depressed. I'm surprised at myself. And yes, that would be another one that we can get there for her. Where are we now? Number six. Claims depression. And we have now got our first... Is that our first? Yes, it is our first whole line of the game. Well done, everybody. We have got our first line of the game. That's it. Brilliant. We're getting there now. We're really getting there. What else can we see? Oh, there's a picture of her. What do we see when we look at a picture of her? We can see that she has a frumpy dye job hairdo so that is going straight on the list thereby completing another line very very good well done we are burning through these now it's excellent uh, she's got frumpy dyed hair there and we can see it okay what else can i see uh the depression thing we've got that already oh she's protected her account she has protected her account ladies and gentlemen this is madness what are you doing, Jessica? You mad bitch. Protected her account because she can't handle contrary opinions. Okay, anything else that we can see from her right now? Uh, no, not particularly, no. No, she's got, uh... Oh, she's got a nose piercing. She's got a nose piercing, so that's, uh, that constitutes tattoos and piercings. Let's get that one on the board as well. Boom, we are only two away. We've now got three horizontal lines and two vertical lines. All we need now is an association with other SJWs and some bad health. Now, she doesn't look particularly healthy to me, but let's have a bit more of a, a look at her, shall we? Uh, yes, there we go. We can see that she is, in fact, a uh, fat chick and she's got tattoos as well. Brilliant. Let's go back to the card then and we can see... Boom, baby, we are one away from full bingo as she is promoting bad health. Sitting there, drinking and talking about body shaming earlier on as well. I could have actually added this much earlier on. Well, okay, there must be something else here we can see. Uh, association with... Oh, there it is! Straight in there with kind of funny games. That's the simp cut, Greg Miller's channel. The useless git himself who betrayed his friend, Colin Moriarty, who is based as the day is long, associates with our SJWs. We have done it, guys. And that, as Hans Lander would say, that is a bingo. We've done it, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable. I never thought I'd see the day. Jessica Cogswell coming out there and representing the absolute idiots of the internet, the SJW activists in their full entire form of of grumpiness of ugliness of tattoos piercings bs pc language obsession with sex obsession with race attacking your own customers not being interested in your job protecting your tweets having cutesy kidified screen names and of course claiming to be a journalist whilst actually just being a marxist let me know how you feel about this in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like the video if you've enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe to Will of the Fans if you'd like to see more of me. I'd like to see more of you. I'll be back with another video for you very, very soon. But until then, remember to question everything. Respect the fans and I'll chat to you next time.